I am going to respond to a few questions um, to help Susan out and you guys can learn from it too. And don't worry, in the background, oh, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10. Oh, oh, if you haven't seen it, it's right here. And by the way, $145 and four trips. Come on, boys. Let me pose for the camera for this one. I got lucky, okay? I got lucky. God help me. Today, I swear to you, God help me. Otherwise, I was in trouble. I was all the way in Oceanside. I had no idea what I was going to do. But I seriously, absolutely got lucky today. I'm not going to complain. $145 and four passengers to make my money. Uh, now I'm looking to go home. Okay, let's answer her questions while we're waiting. And in case something happens, I got to bounce. We're going to start down here with this first question. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to send you my favorite five questions, LOL. You have my text. You have my phone number. You're supposed to text me. But that's all good. Um, you have no comments here, so I put my question here. No problem. All right. We're going to have fun with this. The parts that I've read, I'll cross out. First, just some basics. What's your routine for car washing? Okay. So for car washing, um, you know... I try not to spend any money because every penny counts. So when it rains, I grab this thing right here, one of these. I get it wet, I put some soap on it, and I wash my car. I'm not joking, I'm serious. When it rains, I clean my car out pretty good. Second, I try to wash it every two weeks. So when I move from one location to another location in my trailer, I literally try to wash the car. I haven't done it, I was supposed to do it yesterday. So literally, today's Thursday, it's been two days. So every two weeks, I try to wash it. If I don't and I get lazy and I haven't washed it for three or four weeks, then I'll go and pay uh, like five bucks uh, at those coin places. I'll find the cheap ones. And again, you know, I'll do my Pakistani thing. I'll get it wet and uh, get the car washed in $4 or $5 as fast as possible. I don't like to spend anything more than $5. So ideal situation, wash it at home, save your money. If you can't do it at home and it's been a month, then yes, I will go through one of these machines for five, six bucks and do it as cheap as possible. For vacuuming, I have a vacuum at home or in my trailer. And every two weeks when I move, I vacuum. And then if I go to the beach or the car gets dirty, I might spend a dollar at the gas station and vacuum it. But because I have a, a nice, um, there's a word for it if I remember, but it's one of those powerful vacuums. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm forgetting the word. Um, maybe I'll take a picture of it or, or I'll make a video next time I'm there. Actually, when I was making those videos on my YouTube shorts, if you look, let me show you right now. Hang on. Yeah, if you look at my shorts, it's one of these videos. Um, th th these are like the latest videos that I posted. Let me play it for you. It should be in here. We'll try with this one. Gotta check both the bubbles, baby. Looking good. Oh, right there. That's it, right there. What is that thing called? Ridge something. I don't know what that's called, but that's basically what I use. Um, and I just use that to vacuum. Oh, man, I lost my... Hold on. Vacuuming. Okay, we're all done with this. Okay, detailing. I detail it myself. Um... The, the key with the car is you want to keep it clean um, every week. A clean car on the outside, a clean car on the inside um, means a clean mind. And also, you're going to get more tips. So my goal is every few days to have the car clean. Okay. And for detailing, I just, I just grab this rag. I get it wet. I have a little brush. And I'll use the brush around the car. And I'll use a vacuum. And I'll just constantly clean it. And at least once... A week on Tuesdays or Wednesdays when it's slow, I'll do detail cleaning. If I miss it, the following week, I'll always do it. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I don't mess with the car. But Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are my days where I try to clean the car. And I try to keep it clean, okay? All of that. Okay, so that's done. Does it have to be spotless? Um, no, it doesn't have to be spotless because we're not uber black and we're not... Um, limo drivers right but in my opinion if you have the car clean from the inside and the outside it's good for the mind and it's good for tips people tip you if you have a clean car if they get into a clean car they'll tip you if they get into a dirty car i think there's less chances of getting tips i can't prove it uh-oh 
Uh oh, give me home. Send me home. I'm not gonna call it a stupid app because um, you know that's not nice. Uncle Uber is gonna be nice today. Oh, my turn's coming up. I'm sorry, I might not be able to answer your questions, but I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, where are we? We're up to here. Okay, can you get a bad review from having a dusty dashboard, for example? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you a funny story. Um, I'm probably not gonna finish your questions, but I had an African American brother who ordered an Uber Comfort. He wanted to get a black for his date and and he didn't so he got comfort and he got in the car and my car was a little bit dirty back then i didn't have it clean and he looked at me he's like bro and i was like what he's like i'm on a date man i was like my bad dude i was like dude i didn't have time to clean it he opens the door the lady gets in the car and he's like oh, i'm sorry baby you know i ordered uber comfort you know and i don't know man this driver's kind of nasty he's kind of dirty i can't do anything about it honey i ordered i ordered an uber black but they didn't have it now i got an uber comfort i'm so sorry and she was just sitting there with her nose up looking like this looking like that and i'm sitting there i'm like what do you mean my car's dirty right but then he gave me like, you know, the brother gave me like a little like, yo, I got to, you know, I'm trying to get laid, you know, and I got quiet. I was like, then I apologized to the lady. I was like, man, I'm so sorry. Normally my car is clean, but uh, I've been busy. I've been a little bit stressed because as, as a comfort driver, I like to keep it clean. So hopefully that answers your question. Okay. Do you recommend a, uh, a fart bag? I mean, I'm sorry, barf bags? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Don't spend money. I just have it right here. A trash bag and another trash bag right here absolutely but you know the best thing I recommend is um, don't 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 go to don't go anywhere where there's alcohol don't pick up anybody from a winery a winery sorry my fob kits in don't pick up anybody from a bar why should you do that like they come in they throw up your car smells your car messes up they don't care uber wants a receipt you can't drive for 24 hours and it's just disgusting, right? So I, this is why I do airport runs. I go to the airport, I come back. Maybe one person in an airport in a month might be a little drunk. Idiot, right? Alcoholic, right? Don't. There's people that drive at night and they specialize in it. In that situation, yeah, you want to have a barf bucket. You want to have a bucket and you want to be ready and you want to have your spray because they literally put the bucket on the dude and the person so they can barf and they throw it away and they get good tips. My thing is have barf bags because you'll be in situation and pay attention. It's the young kids. It's the younger kids that throw up, not the old people. Old people like me, we can hold our liquor, right? Or if we can't hold it, we'll tell you and we'll pull over and they'll barf outside. Uh, but young kids, they're the ones like three times people have thrown up in my car and they've been stupid young kids. They, they don't know how to hold their alcohol. Okay, I think I got that one too. Kleenex. Um, you can, but it's costing you money. Um, I don't think it's your job to have Kleenex. If you want to, you can. Water, um, I used to do water in the beginning, but again, it's costing you money. Man, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep doing that. Pomona for 13 bucks. Now, put me at the end of the queue. I'm working on my YouTube video, fool. Sorry, Uber. YouTube is way more important than your $13.75. Oh, I'm so sorry. I might lose my spot. I already made $145, you dumb app. Look, look, and I did it in four rides. I know, I broke your ass. Well, that doesn't sound right. Oh, shit. Marietta, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I know it's 47. I know, I know, guys, 47 miles. But you know what? It might be Chris. It might be Jesus. It might be Jesus. You never know. I think anybody with the name Chris or Christopher or Christina, they got Christ energy. God bless you. I will finish answering those questions a little bit later. I'll probably start all over again. Hey, but this is a fun video.